Guys, I got to preface this video because we're pretty, pretty hard, pretty tough on it. Uh, but know that we have seen press access to the first two episodes of Halo. And I got to say, it drops off hard. Okay. Uh, I, I loved the battle, loved the look, love uh, it, it, the, the action. It's, it, it's visceral. Um, it's just the characters and some of these decisions, which if you've seen the episode, you know, uh, but you probably haven't seen episode two yet. And that's where it's like, what is going on? Is this even Halo? What are we doing? Uh, so just know that our opinions are slightly colored by having seen both episodes and then sitting down to give our opinion of the series. So you get a little bit of that. Uh, no spoilers. Uh, but And then we review just episode one, non-spoilers and spoilers in episode one. Uh, and then we'll, epi we'll review episode two separately uh, when that comes out at that time. Uh, but just know that we're, uh, we've seen a little bit more than maybe you have so far. So uh, it kind of colors our opinion. So I don't know. This I'm, I'm sure we're going to get downvoted by a ton of Halo fanboys. But we always give it to you straight here. And uh, hopefully you kind of see things uh, or some of the points that we make. Okay, just wanted to preface that. Uh, enjoy the video. I got a message from Surfshark here for you. And uh, enjoy the review. You done fucked it up. Hey guys, did you hear about that password sharing fee from Netflix? Unfortunately. It's like $3. It's ridiculous. And you know what? You're really going to need to get a lot more out of your Netflix subscription with that around. Do you know how you do that? With our awesome VPN, Surfshark VPN, Secret. which open up like five times more content to you with uh, switching your uh, local area so you are never geo-blocked mm -hmm. on what you can and can't watch in your region. And then, of course, the wonderful 24-7 support. The reason to have a VPN is to protect your data, right? You can have all of this for the low price of $2.21. That's less than the $3 password sharing fee, guys. And with the Angry Joe Show, we are giving you that 83% off with three extra months for free with Surfshark, guys. Protect your data. It's really important. Check Best it out part now. Of all. Unlimited devices. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that. Yeah. Share with whoever you want. You can share. They do not <laughs> care who you share yeah. with, friends or family. You got one of those, you're good to go. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. After seven years, been working on it for about seven years, right? Oh, man. Welcome to our Halo, the TV series review for Paramount Plus's uh, subscription service. I'm going to keep my green screen on over here since green is going to clash with green. Oh, <laughs> I disagree highly with a lot of the decisions made for the silver timeline version of Halo. I don't understand why they are choosing to focus on some of the uh, most boring aspects of Halo. They are, and I disagree highly, highly with many of the decisions that are made in this series. And I am very worried about the direction. Mm -hmm. And it is a fucking shame because uh, there, it's. <laughs> We could have had awesome Halo movies many years ago. I mean, Neil Blomkoff's version. In fact, Neil Blomkoff still has a short film that he directed, Halo Landfall. Uh, it's up on YouTube. You can watch it in 4K. That is going in a better direction than, than this film. And, you know, he was frustrated with the progress of, of, you know, the production company trying to get that Halo film done. So he went out and with some cameras and, sh and shot some stuff. Way more low budget than this. Just a test shot. And I like it more, unfortunately. Um, I don't really know uh, who this show is for. 
it's That's like, what I was going to say. Who is this catering to? Who's the audience Is it for hey, mega Halo fans that have grown up? Like, I fucking bought an Xbox. I was so fucking excited. And Halo 2, I bought Xbox Live. I was an Xbox Live beta tester. I would every single fucking Halo release. I was there for midnight release. We have all this footage and all these reviews. And so I'm, I'm a Halo nut. I fucking love Halo. Then I got tired of Halo when they passed the thing to uh, 343. And I was like, oh, man, this is not, not what I was wanting. And unfortunately... And they tried to get things started a few times. There's some uh, YouTube uh, short films and things like that that kind of got it right, and I was getting excited. Uh, but now comes Paramount Plus uh, to throw some money here to try to get their own, I don't know, Game of Thrones, their own hit. And it really could have felt something special. And instead, it ends up to me... At least based on the initial two episodes, we were able to get uh, uh, press copies and we saw the first two episodes. So we're going to do a non-spoiler review and then a spoiler review. So don't worry about spoilers in this section. But it feels like yet another IP exploited mm -hmm. by a streaming service uh, in search of a hit without much understanding why the franchise was successful, why that intellectual property is beloved uh, by fans in the first fucking place. It's like, I'm going to take this and I'm going to make it my own. I want it to be my own story. I want to play in this sandbox. It's like, but why? Why when you well, have such established the lore? They, oh, that's right. They didn't watch... Oh, Damn. that's right. Yeah, we got to talk about that. So one of the biggest uh, things to come out is that the showrunner didn't even fucking bother to play the games. They ignored the games, basically. They came out and said it. And honestly, it shows. It fucking shows here. And uh, I don't know if it's going to please fans. I mean, concerning fans. Like, if there's, there's fans that just love anything. Yeah, if it looks like they, Halo, they like it. But If people could like Space Jam 2... People right, this one. and 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 I, but it feels like they're reaching for non-Halo fans, right? Or or, or and this show yeah. is just not going to get right. those people interested. It is literally, it is very generic, yeah, and it focuses on all the wrong areas. Like nobody gives a shit about UNSC politics. Like that's not what's interesting. This fucking Spartans show focuses <laughs> on human on human stuff, right? That's the boring part. <laughs> that's the boring part of Halo. What yeah. the fuck is wrong with you? It's the the, the fucking games start in mid battle and mid war that we're fucking losing uh, to the covenant and then fucking alien ring and and then eventually of course the flood and all this fun. So maybe the series might eventually get there, but why start with a wet fart? Rather than a, a big uh, a, a hit uh, or, or a really interesting grindy piece of, of, the, of the, the timeline. And to the credit of the first episode, I will say I was surprised by the brutality of the action scenes. They're not, they're not like Disney Plus. They're, they're not shy to show fucking blood and just bodies exploding when That's they the come into combat. That, that was the only, that was the only good part. That honestly. Basically, the Covenant action scene. But even the Covenant action scene, I have problems with i mean it's supposed to be the covenant there's literally it's just elites where, where are the grunts where are the other species they're there's, saving it for later or, or uh, or the budget maybe you should have played the game budget a little bit so that you know it's not just elites maybe there's a reason for oh well joe it's just a small detachment of elites and then shut up just shut up <laughs> okay anyways uh do uh, and then i have to okay i can't i can't no spoilers. There's no spoilers. <laughs> uh, so no, I, I have to. I have to. I'm not. It's not a spoiler. But you remember uh, <laughs> when they talked about uh, they will show his face in the series. Uh, they waste no fucking time. That's what I was gonna say. I was like right off the bat. I was I'm like, like, what the fuck? You're not gonna at least tease us or anything. You're just like, I'm here. No, it, and it's <laughs> like, like okay. right in that moment, I was kind of having fun up until that moment, and then right when that happens. It immediately feels like uh, it's so weird. It, it it stopped feeling like Halo, and it just felt like marionette puppets, like the world and the lore being used by another, by somebody to do their own. It just felt so story. hollow, right? Um, uh, and, and despite surprising good performance from uh. What's this guy's name? Pablo uh, Schreier, I think, or Pablo no, Pablo something. something. Um, and he, 
uh, does a good job as Master Chief, but it's just kind of unfair now that you, because you take the helmet off and, and now th this is Master Chief. Like, uh, I mean, from now on, Schreiber, yeah, yeah Pablo Schreiber. Schreiber is Master Chief, and people will associate Master Chief's face with that, and it's like, nah, man, it, no, man, no, I don't. This is too quick of a <sighs> reveal. And they're banking everything on it. They, they already approved a season two. It's already renewed for a season two. And uh, and the way I'm feeling like right now is, do you need to run out and get Paramount Plus to see Halo? Uh, are you super excited? I think it's going to take a while for it to get started, right? To course correct That's what from I'm hoping where the for. fans give their feedback. Maybe season two can be that greatness uh but right now it kind of episode one gives you everything that they can possibly give you and then episode two is like <laughs> like the, the all the stuff wind is punched about. out 100 percent stuff you don't care about and so uh and and it's a shame because when basically when the covenant's on screen or when it's like Marines and the actual fucking designs from the video game and the fucking military bases are readying and the arm and Spartans are putting on their armor and fucking like, go, go, go. And the pilots are going and, and there's gunfire. That shit is all fucking great. That, they got that right. It's just the things in between that that glue it all together. You couldn't care less. What did you guys think? Uh, I thought this was generic as fuck. Yeah. Um, what has me worried about uh, the trailer, everything that they showed in the trailer was just the first episode. So I think that's yeah. the best we're going to get after that's that. That's the best we're going to get. After it that, feels just like, like I there's don't care about from, these people. Yeah, episode like, two, there's not a single sequence in episode two that I liked. Yeah, like I don't give a fuck about the people. I don't, it's just <sighs> boring dialogue. I'm, I came here to go see The Covenant and the Spartans go at it. Something to entice me. But this whole human uh, drama, I, I just... Between Halsley. Halsley is, uh, you know, huge in this series. You've got uh, machinations between Halsley and the admirals. Admiral Margaret. Uh, Mar something. What's the admiral's name? Admiral Margaret. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Parangos Parangoski. And she's from the lore. And a little bit of a villain kind of there. She's a villain here. And it's I, just not yeah. compelling And stuff I just feel right like, well, I don't understand why they're doing this with badass characters. They need also a, makes no fucking sense. They need a sense. babysitter. Like, every time they're going for babysitter missions. Why? Yeah. Why? Yeah. I feel like this, that's what Quan's going to be. Yes, yeah, so let's talk about Quan. I don't Quan. like so a lot Quan's of people, character already because it's like, all right, A lot of people were seen worried before. that they'd be like, oh, we're not going to focus on Master Chief. It's going to focus on Quan. Master Chief will be sidelined in his own series. Okay, yeah. Quan is a main character. You're going to have to get over that. She's definitely a main character. Uh, you know, you could think of her as the, um, what's the guy from uh, the Halo Infinite? What's his name? Fuck, I don't remember his name because that's who cares about him. The Hispanic <laughs> guy from the fucking Halo Infinite. Does anybody remember his name? No, Alex? he sucks. All right, there you go. <laughs> it, it could, this is, that's basically who this could be. Right, I do not Like, what is, care she's not a fighter. At all. Why do you think people will watch a Halo series? Is it for a, a, a Quan, who is a new I side you character reason. with <laughs> an insurrectionist that has her own <laughs> vengeance plot now that she needs to go but on? I don't care. I don't care. The dad did it to himself. Dumb decisions. This stupid fucking <laughs> shit. Okay, well, hold on. We'll talk about spoilers in a bit. But uh, while she doesn't dominate the series, she... She is still, I will agree, mostly pointless. Uh, and yeah, because I don't know. They I, obviously I don't have know an what art her for skills her. She's, she's right going to come into more pro She's going to have something about she her. She finds drugs. That, yeah, she's a, she's a drug finder, I guess, and a mushroom uh, scr scr scrounger. And a lot of inconsistencies um, as well. So they don't really sideline uh, Master Chief. It really, it really is him. And a lot of it feels like, and then the, the characterization of Master Chief. This isn't the Master Chief from the video games where he's fucking a badass, throwing out one-liners. He, he, he's still a badass in combat. That's why the, when the show's working is when he's in combat. But outside the show, he's more, it feels more like a RoboCop, you know, in the sense where he's like, he's a, 
a tortured kind of soul and yeah, and he's I got that vibe. like working against his programming questioning uh once he touches this device he starts to question what's going on here and he's sort of awakening and you you get a little bit of a robocop vibe it's different uh, from now. yeah so uh what did you think alex I'm not surprised at all. I mean, the, <laughs> the expensive parts of the show that were are the things that worked, and the cheap things are the things we knew they were going to focus on, right? When when a writer goes to a studio and says, hey, I want to make a Godzilla movie, and they're like, holy shit, Godzilla is going to be so fucking expensive. Are you kidding mm-hmm. me? You know how much it costs to the 3D render, all of this stuff in the city and the destruction? It's like, no, 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 no. I want to focus on the stuff that no one cares about that's cheap. <laughs> yep. You know what's cheap? Yeah. A little Talking girl. Talking in a room. And, like, and that, yeah. that's what we got with Godzilla and so many other franchises. And the, the stuff that works here is the expensive stuff. When yeah. you have a bunch of elites running around and there's a huge explosion. military. And you, what's cheap is bad characters, forced drama, shitty writing. And the, the issue is there is some really good stuff here. My expectations were fucking low for mm. this show. One Paramount Plus has nothing good on it. Um, Picard's no. on there. And uh, oh, all this I forget that they are the purveyor of Star Trek. Yeah. There's like five Star Trek series. So it's just like there's there's nothing there, and so this I expect the same level of writing, and we kind of get that. I expected more. It's like okay, it's like they're like this is our one thing. We better not fuck it up. Yeah, and I kind of fucked it up. I wasn't I wasn't on board for any of the writing, any of the character motivations. I like uh, the guy's Master Chief. I think it's so stupid that he has his helmet off the entire time, especially yes. in wildly dangerous situations where people want to murder him. He's just he like, I'm gonna take my helmet. I'm gonna take my helmet off. Don't like that decision um, at all. There, and, there's a and lot it's of not, not his fault, not the actor's fault. Uh, I think no. he does an all right job as Master Chief. Yeah. but yeah, and so there's there's I don't have an issue uh, with him. It's just the the writing, the writing isn't isn't very good. There's nothing compelling. If I had access to watch episode no. three, and again, if we weren't covering it, I wouldn't want to watch it. Um, God, you have to wait a whole week between episode one and two. And guys, episode two, if you wait, if I had to wait a week for that, I'd be like, what the fuck? Yeah, seriously. It is a filler episode. Episode two is literally a filler episode. There's no you action, no exposition. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. One. I'm getting ahead of myself. We we're still on the yeah. first one. Okay, so anyways, well, I guess we could kind of do a premiere kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, so you were disappointed by it then? I mean, I was ex- uh, I was expecting. I was expecting to be disappointed. The second, anytime we we reread that they weren't going to follow the the story that we know that everyone kind of likes. You know, it's one of the most successful video game franchises of all time. They're like, no, 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 we're going to ignore that. We want to do our own thing. It's like, oh, okay. What's that thing from Paramount? We got sheer fucking hubris, <laughs> where you're like, oh, you, I know that there's this established this is, yes. story yes. and books, which I love, uh-huh. and lore and all these other things. Fuck all that shit. I want to do my own. Let's thing. invent a character. That uh, you know, it sucks and has mm-hmm. terrible motivations. We'll give her a bunch of screen time. Yeah, and, I, I, and so while she doesn't dominate the series, now I can actually see from that point of view. It's like, then why is she even there? And and you're taking up time away from from the original. Because she edition. costs significantly less than rendering a bunch of elites in combat. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I, I mean that's true. Uh, I basically hate any scenes that weren't the battles in the military. Um, you know, I love the alien sided stuff. I'll give it credit for that. Uh, so um, it makes way for possible arbiter things if 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 it's going in the direction that I'm thinking. Um, and it's like, but still, there are problems there too. We've we've got a a, a human character, I guess. Uh, you know, so that we can continue to do lower budget stuff once we move away from from seeing that. But I love seeing, um, you know, Mercy and and I think the the CGI on Mercy they look great. Look great. I, I mean, I'm, I wanted to say it looked practical in some parts, but I think it's just really great CGI. And you spend that's where they spend a lot of their budget. Um, but I do have hangups about it, and I'm like, this doesn't seem like a show for Halo fans. Who's it for? Is it, is it for? It's Halo for everyone else. Why? I, I don't understand. Um, anyways, anyway, when when Master Chief shows up for the first time and he starts talking, it's just it's a shock, you know, because it's not his voice. It's not Master, the original voice actor. And I, I get, I'm like, would the original voice actor get? in trouble if he put out a voice track for it you think <laughs> you know it'd be so easy for him and the community to just like add in the special effects but obviously and, and put his voice in but obviously it's it's pablo's performance and because he has his helmet off so much it would be weird as hell so I, you could see why it there's is a lot of dumb way. decisions he makes mm-hmm. as well yeah so um i guess we can 
we could get into uh, final verdict so that we can talk uh, a little bit about spoilers. But episode one specifically, let's review that one first. So um, in that sense, I like all the battles. I like uh, the covenant, how brutal they are. And it's okay for there to be a conflict between the insurrectionists and the UNSC at first. And I think the first first episode is probably the best, that obviously, that we've seen so far. So far, yes. Uh, go, let's go ahead and give fi- final verdicts. Go ahead. Uh, I think for the first episode, I was actually surprised. I was surprised by the brutality. I didn't think they had it in them. I was surprised at the length of the fight. Uh, I was happily surprised. I think that there is a lot of positives here between a lot of the, the, the weird dialogue and forced drama. Um, I think that this is the first episode probably is, is above average TV. I mean, I'm, it's not, I don't have high praises for it, but my expectations were so low for it that I actually had a pretty good time when things were happening, like really going on in, in, uh, in the first episode. I think I'm going to go with the six. You know, it's above average stuff. Still really misses the mark on dialogue. Still really, like, you have to watch this show as if you know nothing about the, about the, the video game. Because if you're expecting anything yes. from the video game, you're going to be insanely disappointed. You have to fucking forget about you it. You have the to forget video about game. it, which is a, a problem. It's so you know we, we keep we keep bringing up who's <laughs> this for. One of the issue what, when you expand an IP, you're hoping hoping to bring people into that Wider IP. Net. If you saw this and this the series and you love the series, let's say this is a ten out of ten series, and you pick up a control and you want to go play the game, you're like, what the fuck is this? They're, they're, Where's they're, Quan? There's you know <laughs> Doom guys there, you know right? They're, they both look like Doom guy, and then that that's it. That's all we got. So. Uh, <laughs> barely above average six out of ten for episode one. That's uh, crazy because oh, oh, yeah, go. I'm gonna go with a five. I really was into it. I didn't expect a lot, obviously, uh, but uh, the brutality and everything. I was like, show me more of this. But yes. then we got to the yes. other aspect, which we're gonna focus on because of budget constraints and stuff like that. I was like, well, um, this character, what is she good for? Finding stuff, the uh, plants. Drugs. We keep that's talking budget constraints. It's ninety million. I mean, that's a good the, amount of money. In the very beginning, <laughs> that's, that's, that's what it costs. Some of the money. Like, yeah, like sh- like showing those fucking body parts. Like, but we can we're, we can already tell you since fun. we have advanced knowledge. Uh, if you were impressed by episode one, because a lot of people watching this probably have only seen episode one, it's gonna fall off. Oh, big time. Uh, the direction that where it's going since we've seen episode two, uh, but based off of the first one, I'm just gonna go with a five. It was average, generic as at best. Okay, but just to understand, this is for episode one, one only. Five. Don't factor no, in not, two because that would be unfair. Like it was cool as fuck. Yes. That's why it gets the five points. Everything yes. else was like going down. Okay, <laughs> and I and and so it's interesting. I come from uh, high expectations, and I'm, I arrive at a rating. Alex comes from low expectations and arrives at a rating. My rating is six out of ten. We arrived at the same <laughs> at the same conclusion. I think it's slightly above average for what Joe was saying. All come sort of the military, the the fighting, uh, the the perspective. They they played around with first person perspective a little bit, kind of throwing back to the video games. Some of the guns, uh, some of the sounds. Were right. I think maybe the gun sounds were off, but the shield sounds were on point, and all these other things were off, and the the energy they sword had some and music stuff. In it. Yeah. Uh, no. Do not. They- I do not want to give it credit that for that, because while I heard a little jingle here and there, uh, the iconic score by Marty O'Donnell, it's almost entirely fucked up and messed with in favor of more generic chords and things obscuring it and you think oh well maybe they're just teasing it and, and we get to it episode two it's like it happens again and you're like oh so you're just bastardizing well they may not have access something to it. that you didn't well there's clearly fucking chords i guess oh because they're uh, still you bring suits the so. exact you, they don't have access to the exact theme and that's a weak ass excuse because this is generic shit just pay it fucking is. marty yeah. and use the right fucking audio because or soundtrack because the soundtrack is disappointing in this uh it's more generic all right, so yeah, six out of ten uh, for episode one. It's a uh, it's a different Halo. It's not my Halo. <laughs> it is Silver Timeline Halo, and the jury is kind of still out on whether this is something uh, that that earns its place and and that's necessary. It just is a damn shame for me because we could have long ago had that splash of Halo in live action. 
and in the big screen and have it be normal timeline rather than silver timeline. And this just kind of feels more like a exploitation and a little bit of a wet fart, though there are fun aspects to it and good aspects to it. And at this point, I'm hoping for a course correction, and I'm hoping that they'll look at the feedback that they're going to get from fans. <laughs> what is it? How it like says, there's some good stuff. You just got to dig around the shit, right? Yeah, yeah dig around <laughs> for it. Uh, it's focusing on some of the more boring elements of, of the uh, UNSC and, and the, the conflict, while simultaneously not making sense. Uh, and we'll talk about that in spoilers now. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. All right, so uh, welcome to spoilers for episode one. Um, so yeah, like I mean, we kind of spoiled it a little already. He immediately takes off his helmet. Why does he take off his helmet? Uh, to tell the girl, hey, I'm trustworthy. Yeah, you can shoot me in the a face. Little, a little trustworthy. Like, sh no, a show that, of trustworthiness. Yeah. If you shoot me, nothing's gonna happen. Here you go. Yeah. Uh, Aim for they, the head. Mm -hmm. And the show opens with separatists arguing, uh, you know, about the war. And uh, they talk about Spartans and, oh, they're legendary. They're one that can kill 100 men and you've never seen one, et cetera, et cetera. It's on the planet Magdra Magdragal. Magdragal. Mag Mag Madri like Madrigal. Madrigal. Yeah. Um, and whether it's free or not. So this is going to be a plot point throughout the show that continues in episode two, which I do not give a shit about. They even have that character who's always a villain and everything, a creepy Vincer. villain guy. <laughs> what is it? His name is Vincer. In the yeah, thing. Vi Victor, Vincer, something like that. Uh, whereas, you know, he's trying to, you know, take con power and control on the planet. Um it turns out that Quan's uh, father is the general uh, of the separatists, and she's out and about uh, searching, uh, you know, hanging out with her friends, doing drugs, basically, because she uh, can forage drugs. And they all have stupid haircuts, and uh, thankfully they are blown the hell away by the Spartans. As she turns the corner, she notices the Spartans are, like, in a cave uh, blasting at things, and she notices the Covenant ship. She's like, what the fuck? These are not UNSC forces, and then they and then the Covenant start blasting her friends to pieces. <laughs> There's blood, all, uh, you know, splatters Why on. Why they were high? It's like, oh, oh man, so <laughs> cool, <laughs> dead. <laughs> Don't do drugs. Yeah. What did you find, Joe? His name was uh, Burn Gorman. Burn Gorman. So he makes a little appearance in episode one on the TV, and that's going to be ramped up in in episode two. Uh, but so far, uh, you know. The UNSC needs this planet because it's got heavy hydrogen and they just, you know, power their ships. Power and their ships, yeah. Um, and, it, you know, you're watching this and you're like, this Quan thing. Uh, and it's like, if they had played the games, this would more than likely be a squad of Marines, you know, or tied to the war on, on, on the Halo installation and stuff. And I just daydream about it being better, maybe, about maybe it being more later. faithful to the series. Mm -hmm. Hope, like I said, the hope is course correction in the future because I don't give a shit about Quan and her exploits and, and any of that. Um, so what else? Uh, you're going to need to turn subtitles on because there's a lot of accents, a lot of really thick accents. Uh, and that's just showing, I think, the amalgamation of all the humans. Uh, so mm -hmm. you've got, you know, Scottish and Korean and, and uh, you know, Indian. And, <coughs> and I needed to turn on the subtitles because it was it was it was too, uh, tough for me to keep up. Um, and then so then you get the fight. The elites show up and just start blasting the fucking installation. They get ready with their Gatling guns right from the video games. And I'm like, OK, cool. And they blast the door open and they start firing and for start bouncing off. Right, the elites just walk in because they're so fucking badass. All their shields are perfectly blocking all the shots. And I'm like, get up on the fucking ramparts. And then I did notice there was a few on yeah, the ramparts, but most of them were they down in there ready for explosion. the explosion. And then they got fucking overwhelmed. And this is what they get right. The visceralness, the power behind an elite, the, the fucking covenant is just not like fucking obliterating these people. In fact, one elite just slams his body into a the technical truck. truck and the fucking thing flips over. I'm like, 
I never really considered that, but you can get that. You can't really get that in a video game, Halo. But if this was real life and in live action, you get that. And I'm like, okay, this is fucking cool. Um, and so the, the the people hole up in one little area and close the door. He's like, you know, gets his daughter to safety. And the fucking, the, the, they hate humans. They're just, uh, you know, they open it up and it's this little boy and, and he keeps getting shown by the camera. And you think, oh, maybe he'll factor in later. He'll grow up and, you know, you will have to deal with his ass. You, we don't have to deal with his ass. Fucking elites goes in there and he's like, just fucking murdering everyone. all the women and children. I'm like, Luckily, oh, Quan escapes. Of course, Quan she escapes. sees her dead. She's literally down. the only human survivor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the writing is convenient in that way. And I don't like that when that kind of shit happens. But what we do get is a badass scene of a pelican coming over, dropping Master Chief. Superhero boom. landing. Exactly. <laughs> Fucking goes off, kills a, it kills a, lo- a ton of elites. Then Silver Team sh- drops in. They have their most, ba- they have their badass moments, and I'm like, yes, this is working. I fucking love it. Like, okay, okay. And this is where people are gonna be like, oh, Joe, you're crazy. Oh, fuck that. I love this show. This is great. It's like this is where you'll get hyped. Yeah. Um, but then it starts tapering down. Tapering down again. Um, so I wrote it down here. I was like, oh, wow, this is great. First 18 minutes, good. In fact, it is the setup right before the smash of the credits. And the, the intro, and the intro song sucks, and it's just him putting on his armor, and then a little, little thingamajiggy. But anyway, Master Chief just kills it. Uh, her dad dies, uh, and when he notices that the Covenant seem dead set on killing Quan for whatever reason, or maybe she's just, it's bad writing where she's always in the spot that the, the Covenant tries to get her and, mm-hmm. and, and doesn't care about anybody else. So her dad shoots his AK-47 trying to... While charging him. While, while charging him. And <laughs> so he, he grabs him. He could him. shoot from a distance. No, uh, no, picks him up, hits him with the energy sword, just engages the energy sword. I'm like, oh, this is cool. And then throws it. And then just in time, Master Chief's able to... And they use a combination of practical Master Chief and CGI Master Chief. And I'm like, you know what? I can tell the transition, but it's yeah. acceptable because when you have a superhuman soldier, like a fucking goddamn power armor space marine moving at that... That speed, it's going to look slightly unnatural, but I buy Here's it. the part I don't buy. Mm-hmm. Master Chief pulls off the gun from the truck and obliterates uh-huh. like two or three, three. elites. Yeah. Three how elites. come? Yeah. How, how come <laughs> the regular people that are using the same exact okay. gun didn't kill one? Okay. I, I, we they have didn't to go kill back. One. We got to go back and rewatch that. You telling me none of them fired remember, machine guns? Yeah, none I remember. Them? I was like, wait a minute. Then they have the yes. Gatling gun positioned right at the front yes. door. <laughs> and that's and who's who was firing. Off. <laughs> right, what the fuck? But they He's give magic, that moment. Duh. They give that moment to Master Chief. You Why? can even tell the camera slows down and it does this slow mo where he comes around the corner and it's so the audience go, "Hey, see, I, I, I see but that." Like, what my thought process like he's picking up the gun. I was like, "Why is it doing that? It's not gonna work. It didn't work before. Why is mm-hmm. it gonna work now?" And he like, well, kills he knows three. how to overload their shield. <laughs> how? The other people didn't know how. Instead, they fired a little bit at one and would move on to the. No, none of that. It's bad writing. It's mm-hmm. it's it's a moment given to Chief that doesn't make sense because they were using that Gatling gun elsewhere. Yes. Yeah. All you had to do is do some scenes where the human beings, the normal human beings, were at least sort of deal- dealing some damage to the elites, and then we can forgive everything. Yes. But they just forgot. Like, Wait <clears throat> a minute. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So uh, he saves basically Quan, <laughs> not not the insurrectionists. They're all fucking dead. <laughs> they didn't do a good job. No. Uh, save them in time. And uh, they go in to see why are the fucking Covenant here. They go into the same cave. Uh, an elite is kind of watching him in the background, and he touches this item, this keystone. It's called, and it lights up. And uh, it's, he's, he's the chosen one. He's special. He's the chosen one. I am yes. The chosen one. In fact, that's what it is. They're, they're called the blessed ones, Joe. Yeah. So the people that can touch it in special are called blessed ones in this universe. The super homo sapien. He's a super homo, yeah, I guess. But but even other super homo sapiens, because Soren later on touches this and it, it doesn't do anything. And neither does Wrath touches it. doesn't do anything from episode two. Anyways, um, now we cut to the politics. Okay? Mm. So after he gets that object and they're like, all right, let's take it back and stuff. Or let's figure this out. Uh, back on Earth, um, here comes Admiral whatever. Uh, Margaret. Margaret. And she's like, uh, we're going to cut your funding. 
You you mean you mean the only thing that is effective against the fucking covenant? You, that's what you're gonna you're gonna cut. You're just gonna cut the, the funding to the only thing that's keeping us we in this war. We need tension. It, it makes no <laughs> sense. Yeah. Any anytime there are these human beings on and they've been fighting uh, for reach you. are talking, it's awful. Yeah. Awful. And then when Quan they start talking to Quan, it's awful. She's like, I know you just saved me. And uh, you know you didn't leave me on that planet that was not you know people I was gonna get murdered there violently by the other group that wanted to murder me but I'm gonna tell every single person on the whole old world that you guys are evil it's like what what yeah so Master Chief saves Quan puts her on the ship along with the key and is is flying there yeah and then she's like and they're like hey can you like tell the other people who are you know insurrectionists that you know we're not the bad guys that the the aliens that we've been telling you for Miranda, years Miranda Keys shows up and it's a different Miranda Keys because it's silver timeline she's an African American in fact her her father African American so the family's African American they they race swap them but this is the silver timeline and she says we need you to tell the world that you the know, truth. Hey, we saved you, and this could be a good thing for us. Like, Fuck y'all! I'm gonna tell I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you the opposite because she's pissed, Alex. I mean, and and in fact, Master Chief himself killed her mother. Is is I think why she just like doesn't she's not cooperating. Oh, I mean, I, I get I get it. It's just it's I think it's stupid. Yeah, I, I, no, I, 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 they're just like <laughs> wait wait. It's like they could like they're grown ups in the room. They're like yeah, I get that you're mad and stuff, but. The Covenant are going to kill literally everyone in the entire fucking universe that's yeah. a human being. You fucking this dumb child. And you're going to lead, and you're gonna lead to galactic, more galactic war yeah, and more planets being attacked. There are, there's, there's grown-ups in the room, really important grown-ups in the room, and they let this teenager go, no, nah, I'm not going to do it. It's like, no, 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 you don't get it. Like, this is what's going to happen. And they're like, no, we're going to be nice. It's like, <laughs> no, you're going to be stupid because someone in the writer's room is an idiot. Yeah. And it's all of them. And they... <laughs> Pretty much, because then she's like, shut this shit down. In fact, what the fuck is this in this room? Shut this shit down. Yeah. And it's ref she's referring to Cortana, and she's like, oh, it's... Uh, but we look at Cortana, it's and she's in human skin form. It's, it's, it's not right. This is not right. Apparently, in this, in this universe, Cortana is like the next evolution of Spartans. I'm hoping that's not what they're implying here. We'll know more once Cortana comes into play here. Is she a physical thing? Well, yeah, she's physical. It's and she's in. It's like she's not blue. She's not an AI. Well, she is an AI, but they position me, her uh, as the next evolution of human. Yeah, it anatomy. reminds me of Minority Report when they have those people inside making mm -hmm. all the decisions. Maybe so. she's one of those, and it's like, yeah. oh, okay, fine, whatever. Uh, then we cut to high charity. I like all this stuff. This stuff was really cool. Like the covenant, this is what it should be expanded. The the war parts and the covenant parts and the covenant politics and stuff. That's fine. And then uh, you know, uh, oh, those are the expensive parts. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyways, it's they need. Mil, so right? I'm like, why the fuck do we have this human character with the covenant? And it's because they need her because she can also activate the keys. They are automatically say, oh, he she he did what you do, which is you know activate these things. And she's, I don't know, studying a book. And she's like, don't bring that with you. you know. But you know, yeah. she's like, no, don't question my loyalty or whatever. It's like, so I don't know. She, you're supposed to care about this particular character. So far, we, I think, I don't know if they said her name. She's just the blessed one for right now, I think. Um, and yeah. So anyway, um, as Miranda Keys was talking to Quan as they flying back, uh, they they did man mention of Commander Shepard. Mm -hmm. Caught Com that? Yeah. Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard is requested at the Skillian re response there. <laughs> they told center. you they didn't, they didn't look at the games. They're just like, wait a minute, what, what's <laughs> a Shepard? Shepard. There, yeah, right? Commander Shepard? Shepard's in there. Um, yeah, so the touching of the rock somehow stimulated his body. They're looking at his, uh, you know, information from his suit and, and from his live feed. Um, and, you know, and he admits that he saw things when he, when he touched the object. He tells them right away. And that's what reminded me of the RoboCop situation because you get these flashbacks where he's, he's, you know, you know like, yeah, he's got a family. And it's like, it's because he was a child and he was fucking abducted. And, and, there's there's conflict coming that we can see, uh, you know. Halsey is like you know a mother to him, but then she's gonna reveal that like, hey, we fucked you and programmed you and and you know yeah. did all these fucking. So she's evil. Things. The UNSC is evil from a certain perspective. All the characters right. that we like Kidnap aren't kids. any good. But is she like, evil really? Because it was necessary. And yeah. yeah. Kidnap kids like, oh, and train okay, them. Okay, great. Uh. Um, <laughs> And so, and but then again, uh, as we're in battles, we get a lot of first-person shot, very video game. I like those those particular areas of it. Um, and then Jacob Key shows up saying, "Look, uh, this bitch almost this bitch is gonna say that fucking we 
we killed all her people and we didn't. She's going to start war. So Article 72, her. Uh, not Order 66, Article 72. Article 66 is uh, soaring. Uh, so kill her. So kill her. And then his daughter's like, what? No, we can't do that. We'll lose, her huma- or we'll lose our humanity, even though we'll start galactic war amongst all the other planets. And it's I hate her, too. She's <laughs> yeah. an idiot. She needs yeah, to be kicked off the show. She's an idiot. But these are the, ide- <laughs> Not the, actors, these are the idealistic people that are like, yeah. no. You know, yeah. so he's like, no. Um, and anyways, so as they're talking in this ship, you know, Master Chief and Quan, she explains to him that he killed her mom, uh, that they were just getting together to, to talk about how the UFC, UNSC has been stripping resources and treating them unfairly. And he's le- and she, she starts to make him question what he's been doing because he was ordered there to kill uh, the, her mother. And he realizes, at that moment, kind of realizes that maybe he, he's being controlled and his motives aren't always <laughs> good. That and, the UNSC is evil. But, you know... Is he really a hero? Uh, you know, is he making this of his own accord, or is it only because he's touched the object and it's kind of heightened his senses and opened up his brain and made him wake up? I think it's probably more that, and yes. so he's having this this crisis. Um, yeah. So, anyways, the UNFC realizes at that point the chief's doing his own thing as the ship is coming back to them. So they're like, "All right, fuck him. Uh, put, let's kill her anyway." He's not responding to us. He cut his video feed, so they cut off the oxygen in there, which is killing her. And then I'm like, "It's okay. He'll help her." And then they cut off his oxygen in his suit. I was like, "Wait a minute! How did that Master Chief pass out?" It was because they were cutting his suit oxygen off. I was like, "Holy shit!" Take off your helmet. I was like, "These are fucking <laughs> UNSC <the> assholes, <laughs> motherfucker." But he's at last minute is able to, uh, you know, uh, override that, and um, and he takes action. And it's a very cool sequence as he's flying to there. This is the stuff that works again of military <laughs> ships and marine <laughs> readiness and Spartans equipping themselves. It's like, all right, Trina, we got to arrest Master Chief but and did, all this. No, other they, stuff. but like, didn't it make sense here? Hmm? Why do they kill her in the ship? She's not. She doesn't have like a. Like a te- she doesn't have TV cameras in there. There's like, okay. Oh yeah, just bring her in. Just bring yeah. her in and just be like, yeah, all bring these her military in. personnel. They ain't gonna say that shit. She doesn't give a shit. He's not gonna take care of her when he lands on on reach. Yeah. They should be like, oh no, no, no we took care of her. Bam. Yeah. Uh, crisis yeah, averted. Like, Master Chief, uh, we understand. Yeah, she's got valuable it's information. Just, they they, Don't they worry, did it this we'll way because guy with crayon on napkin went, do it this way. Uh huh. <laughs> so, That's what I'm saying. But, like it was badass in the beginning, but then yeah. you just like. Yeah. Drawing, then they started like, writing yeah, stuff. Yeah, 40 minutes to go after that. You're ha- like, oh, God. And then Halsey puts in a counter order. I'm like, oh, cool. And she's telling her Spartan team to secretly protect Chief. And, and you know, and, and, and there's some brotherly love by that main yeah. main <clears throat> guy. He's like the the, the other male uh, Spartan is like, no, man, Master Chief's the best. And we're going to protect him when the other ones are kind of questioning what's going Dude, on. Anchor, one, thir- one, three, four. Yeah. 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 Um, and so and and then he explains she's like going to shoot him. No, stay away from me. I was like, this is Mark six armor. You, you're not going <laughs> to bend in anything. But he takes his helmet off at that moment to gain her trust. And like I said, at that moment, it was like it did stop being Halo. It kind of stopped being it started being something else. I just didn't think it was a good decision. You know, yeah, Matt, it just made you that guy's like, face is now Master Chief. He is now Master Chief for mass audiences. And yeah, they're just forcing you to care about this character, Quan. It's like, all right, like, yeah, this is going to be the star of the show. Care about it. Like, mm, you yeah. still haven't enticed me to care. There, there's so many w- amazing opportunities to have you remove the helmet in a way that actually makes sense. Where it's like, look, you can't. Uh, attract attention to yourself when you're on these alien planets being you can't be Master Chief here. You cannot. So you need to take off your helmet. And we could have done that way. Not allow himself (laughs) to be murdered by a child who has said that she will start an intergalactic war because she wants to start it. She'd rather start an inter... Like, why? This is... Like, that is not a Master Chief thing. That is not, like, what a soldier would do. I just don't get anything. You grab the gun and go, I'm not trying to hurt you, dummy. And then just, like, (laughs) we need to explain the situation. So... I don't... Like, who... Like who's sitting down and going like this is this is the thing this is how we unveil chief why why it felt shot unearned in the face by a kid? it felt unearned it it's didn't oh, God, man and and uh, other pelicans are on an intercept course again that CGI looks good the the pilots have their own cool helmets and I'm like this is and they surround the autopilot ship they've got all the marines in formation everybody's pointing the guns 
Uh, and at that moment, he takes manual control. Uh, you know, and Silver Team was actually prepared to engage the other Marines. That was cool. You know, I like I like he's like, all right, let's move. I'm like, yeah, I fucking love this guy, please. You know, go help Chief. Uh, Cause fuck all these other people, they suck. I hate them. Just take Silver Team, take Chief, uh, kick Quan out of the back of the the Pelican, and let's go have our own story. But that's not gonna happen. Anyways, uh, they were prepared to maybe engage the Marines that had, they were putting bombs on the fucking you know ship, and uh, but luckily. They don't need to fight everybody. That would have been a fucking slaughter. I mean, Silver Team probably would have died, but they would have took out almost the whole, the whole base. Yeah. Um, but he touches the the thing at that moment again, which uh, puts out a big fucking like EMP electrical EMP shock wave, yeah. something that turns off everything off. He's able to take manual, manual control and fly the uh, ship away. And, um, you know, kind of during that, you kind of hear a little bit of the Halo, but it's kind of Halo theme. It's kind of tortured. Mixed in with the generic stuff. And the, the what they did to the theme is actually perfect for what they did to the show, right? They took something great, put their own shit all over it, and, yeah. and changed it. And it just doesn't. It's like a worse version of Halo. Yeah. What? Why are we be, being given a worse version of Halo? It disappointed me because I, it was like the Bad Batch. You want to see the Bad Batch and badass missions and doing stuff like that. That's what I wanted to see here with the yeah. Spartans. But instead, we go for the old tropes. Yeah. And and I, I said in the review uh, that she doesn't sideline Master Chief. And that may be true. But now I'm starting to realize as talking about it that, in fact, she kind of does in the sense that she is going to take time away from yeah. stuff that we care about. We don't really care about her right now. Now, does that mean maybe later on we might start caring about her? Maybe, but I don't have confidence in these writers to actually pull that off because, as we've already seen, what happens in episode two. But anyways, that was the end of episode one. And these, and it's so weird. I've noticed this in episode one and two. The way that it smashes to credits is so unfulfilling. It's so unsatisfying. It doesn't feel like a it's been written nicely to where it kind of has it's this not a good, final good poignant cliffhanger or anything like right a final scene. It's just like <laughs> and it's like uh, okay, like I get it. I over. Guess, I, I guess we're over. It's over. <laughs> oh, okay. Like, uh, Next. Right. Let's move on. Next. Yeah. Um, and if I had to wait a whole week for this episode too, I would have been pissed. There were times when we yeah. were watching Game of Thrones that like there would be there were, especially in the first couple seasons where it was rare, but you'd get a filler episode and you're like, man, I'm fucking disappointed. I look forward to this the whole goddamn week. Yeah, I waited for this. Yeah. And. Uh, <laughs> So uh, we will go into that uh, next, uh, but uh, that's episode one. Guys, tell us what you think. Are we completely wrong? Is this the best Halo content that you've ever seen? Does it really fulfill all of your Halo fantasies? I don't um, buy it. I don't fucking buy it. It's not a 10 and, out of 10. And, and, and honestly, what, what we think right now is this is the best it's going to get. Like the other episodes, maybe once we get in full with the Covenant War, we'll get one other episode at this level, but we're... But, and honestly, it would have been higher if this wasn't Halo, you know, because all of the problems I have with it, some, all these points I'm taking away, it's like with bad writing, poor decisions, you're, you're, you're taking a license and you're, you know, kind of whatever. doing whatever you want. Whatever. <laughs> all right. Anyways, tell us what you think down in the comments below, and we will see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys.